uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! G'day guys, Bushka here. Today we're going to be looking at some different weapons and tactics. We're going to talk you through some of the things you might not know about the game in terms of loadouts and how you can use certain weapons. We're going to really feature the SLR here today as well. This is a game from the stream earlier today that I thought was worth having a look at. Uh, it was the last game of the stream before we finished up for the uh, day. I'm using a UMP and Uzi. Right off the hot drop, I'm using the first weapons I can find. I'm going to show you, I don't like the iron sights on the UMP at all. Um, there's a whole lot of iron and a whole lot less sight. I don't like sights that obscure the target. Unlike the Uzi sight there, which is pretty clearly a very, very good way of, um, you know, allowing you to see the target with a little single iron divot right in the middle uh, that is the site itself. The U the UMPs is far too complex and impractical. One of the things that I, I love about tech center drops here is it's kind of a hub. People will keep rolling. You might know, I just turned on my all chat. I said to that guy, hey, don't thirst my dudes downstairs if they get knocked, and I won't thirst you. That's literally what I said. And you might want to try that sometimes, um, because people will thirst you if you thirst your mates if you thirst their mates. That's very obvious. Like people have vindictive grubs, we all are, and that's something that happens a lot. You might have noted that I picked up an SLR there. A lot of uh, humans won't run the SLR. The SLR is difficult for a lot of people because they don't get on the range and sort out their sensitivity. I actually went back and checked and my SLR sensitivity is pretty much tickety-boo. Uh, that means it's good. Uh, we'll... See that? That's a headshot with a DMR that cleared the target. The reason that works so well is people get lazy. The meta at the moment is usually about tapping out 556 five, ARs or spraying them, okay? So when people get in gunfights with members of your squad who don't have a bolt action or aren't hitting them hard and they're getting hit with 5.56 five, AR rounds, say they get hit in the vest by an M416 and they're wearing a level two vest, it's gonna do 24 and a half damage, right? It's not that big a deal. And people get lazy and they'll kind of be early game without loot and they'll want to extend the time before they hit that heal. So they'll play with 50 health. And that's where a gun like the SLR that you can see here will completely dominate because an SLR will hit a level two helmet for an absolutely whopping um, 79.92. That's a lot of damage. So if they're not fully healed and you hit a headshot on them, unless you've got a level three helmet, they're going to go down. And this is why the SLR is, I think, criminally underrated. 7.62 rounds. You can see if you land a, a couple of shots on this thing, that's three shots. That's enough. And none of those were headshots. And the guy out the back is actually someone who um, is in trouble because we've got a headshot on him and he doesn't have any meds. This is off the hot drop and they've got stuck at the northern end of town. I think it's the northern end. No, the western edge of town. Um, fighting someone and we've just rolled in and we're third partying them. And I'm using the SLR and I'm using it with a suppressor. Something you don't understand about DMRs probably, yeah, there you go, he had no health left, um, is that DMRs, when you're a tap firing on a DMR, they are affected mainly by camera, okay? But they are also affected by ADS. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but they certainly are. I've proved it time and time again. Um, I've got a video out there of, of this. Also, the ping has been horrific. Watch my ping here. It might look like I'm just potatoing out, but you're going to see I'm trying to fire at this guy. Look at the bottom left side of my screen and see how it, nothing happening, but for me that was like incredibly tough to do and you're going to see it just bulk out to 300. I don't know why that is happening right now, but this is happening all the time on the Asia server. Um, the other thing you've got to love about an SLR is in a third party situation this gun is absolutely brutal. Its base round uh, is the second highest DMR round. It's 57.9. And that's a lot. That's an awful lot. The Mark 14, the crate DMR is 60.8. So if you're hitting body shots, it's going to do 26.06 into level 3 armor. Level 3 armor, right? An M416 to do 18.4. 
So if you're hitting level two armor, you're doing a third of their health every time, 34.74. And if you're hitting a helmet, even if it's a level three helmet, it'll do 60 damage. Now, one of the problems we had this game was we couldn't get a card. And that's going to cause some particularly difficult problems in these final rotations. Uh, most notably, Foxy is going to get stuck in a field. And we just can't get to him. And it's a weird one because there's a solo who's holding an angle on the top of a hill that we can't really get to. Um, and we don't we don't have the vehicle to actually move in and set up around Foxy. Uh, and he doesn't have any shields left. And not having a vehicle is incredibly short-sighted, generally. Like, if, if you get to this stage and you don't have a vehicle, you're doing it wrong. But... That's not what happened here. We just... We got stuck. We couldn't find cars. We were running around with a buggy and a bike when this all happened. And then we got moved across a bit, away from the bike and the buggy. And the next thing you know, we're isolated and we've got no way of really making it happen. That gets solved in a big way, but you'll have to wait to see that. I'm still running the SLR. I could have swapped the SLR out for something else very, very comfortably. I don't do that until someone turns up with an AWM because, I mean, I'll take an AWM. That's just better. Okay, that's just better. That's that's a body shot. I don't know why that was a body shot. Looked like there was nothing there, but headshots to hit. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, etc. Um, please like me. Isn't that the name of a great TV show? Anyway, what am I talking about? Here he is. He's just up the top of that hill. Now, if you have a look on our left... Foxy started pushing towards that guy. And I'm already thinking this guy's part of a squad, so you might have seen me ducking after firing there. Foxy has an angle on him, but someone has an angle on KR Fox. And this is where the SLR is weak. That is a Mosin Nagant. So I'm hitting this guy, but all he has to do is hit me. That's a headshot. And then he's going to get a heal. And this is where you are weak. DMRs are generally weak against bolt-action rifles because bolt-actions only have to hit you once, whereas the DMR has to hit them multiple times. And I could have dealt with this a lot better if I had a, had a level 3 helmet. But without a level 3 helmet, I feel very, very dodgy against someone with a Mose in the gun. They only have to get a little bit lucky and then anything can happen. We decide to break his shield. You can break the shields. 120 rounds of 5.56 five, will break the shields. The problem is that he just calls in another shield. You can see, just before we start to break the shield, he calls in uh, an airdrop, because he can obviously buy that up there, and he's buying himself more shields, so we just say, bugger it. Don't worry about the shields. We're just going to leave him alone. Don't worry about it. And all this time, Foxy is not actually too far away, and he's trying to rotate back into us. And that's why we're all focused on this guy rather than the squads that are further out that we know are there. Because if we can clear this guy, then Fox is able to cleanly get across the field. We just can't get rid of this guy. Two things are going to happen. He's overstaying his welcome. He's got shields up to us, but it's becoming pretty prevalent, pretty um, obvious to everyone else who's in the game right now that he's on the south side of this circle, that there is something going on up there. There's shields up. He's just called in like the the drop. And while Foxy can't rotate, that guy can't rotate out either. Um, and you can see he's now dropped smoke. Only problem is, as this has finally happened, someone has moved in behind us with an AWM where we parked our cars up originally. And Fox is now absolutely stuck. So no vehicle means that we can't really make these rotations very easily and multiple parties with different angles has yeah it's it's really turned into quite a difficult situation we've got the circle that's fine there you go i mean you can see this we hit him as he's going away now we have the circle that's good what's not good there's there's the awm this is what I was talking about. The AWM gets Foxy, and now it's like, oh, we just can't get there. And then there's 
other squads that are now double tapping out my Amigo. I was moving up here because my plan was to take the the vehicle that this guy had actually left. He turned up in a in a buggy. And I was going to take that, try and put it in front of Fox, get the revive, and move on. But there's there's just people down there with Overlook on me. And they are firing at me right now. Um, and that car has no wheels on the front. So, yeah, we just pull up, head back. And I tell Foxy, unfortunately, mate, um, we've looked over your case. <laughs> and we just can't, can't do it. And here we go again. Big shots. That's a level three helmet. He's in a gunfight. He's allowed himself to get a little bit low. Uh, instead of hitting a heel, he was tagging at me then. And that means that we hit him for 59.94. So he was probably half health. Someone's hit him pretty hard uh, from the other side. He's doing his heels and bang, we get him. So we still have a bunch of people behind us with an AWM. Uh, we don't know how many are there. We just know some. Um, could be one guy, could be two. They have rotated in behind to where our vehicles are parked. And that's, uh, you can see, poor old what the hay taken one through the dial there. Um, and now they're going to push. So I'm going to leave what the to get revived by JP. And as they're pushing, this is not a good compound to push if the person you're pushing understands where things are. And these boxes on my right allow you to get immediately up on top of this roof, even if you're a bit of a potato like me. So we're going to let that guy roll in. There he is. He's got no idea what's going on. And yeah. His mate's inside. He's stuck. Panics. Hits a heel. He'd already taken a little bit of damage. And we get the clear. And there's the AWM. And we finally put the SK SLR away. But you can see how valuable um, SLR is. It's one of the most underrated guns in PUBG Mobile. I'd put it up there along with uh, the Famous and maybe something like the G36C. There's still people that don't understand how good the G36C is. Um, and we, we will get to that. I'm going to do an underrated weapons video because I think it's really changed since they've unified the rate of fire with the dumb down of um, 90 frames per second. So it's no longer a special gold standard for all us high-end iPad users. Um, and that's that's good. That needed to happen, by the way. I'm, I'm not angry about that. Don't get me wrong. I thought my um, iPad was a little bit dark there. I was just checking on the... Yeah, and they bought us a car. Great. Only, we're going to roll across here and everyone just kills each other. <laughs> so we've, we have situated ourselves pretty well here in terms of location. But see, there's 13 people left alive and then there's 12 left alive. And... This is a great spot. Uh, there's a guy running down here. I'm going to hit him with the AWM. And then JP just taps him out and finishes him off. And now there's 11 people left alive. And it's getting real nasty up the other end. Uh, but that's fine. I'm quite happy to let them stay there. And we are short-sighted on the circle. You can see that no one is rotating in behind us. There was absolutely no space there. Um, they are all in the circle already. And they're starting to seriously damage each other. The reason I like this uh, tunnel here, this uh, viaduct, is that you can drive down it and at the end of it, it actually loops slightly to the left. And there is another big area like this, like a big dam like this, where you can actually like very comfortably use the you know, the the edges to go up and down. Like, anything that's a bowl is very valuable. And there it is. One guy left. We actually played that pretty well, I think. Um, and it was a funny rotation. Although we did lose Foxy along the way, we did manage to, to play that pretty well and keep everyone on song. And as we get up the top here, we're going to hit a shield and then just work our way around. Very straightforward. Very obvious stuff. I think he's going outside. So I'm going to molly the right side. That means that if he wants to come out and poke me, he's going to set himself on fire. And he actually goes way long and goes all the way over and starts looting the crates. I think he's looking for meds or something. But that's the end of the game. Thank you so much for watching, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed that little look inside the life of the SLR. I'm Bushka. Stay safe in the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.
Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And why not join the Discord server? Etc. Etc. Etc.